Uh, we continue to remain in touch with Governor Cuomo and state officials in coordinating our response to this storm. And I'm also announcing right now that we avoided uh, city public schools to remain closed tomorrow. Uh, there's no chance that the mass transit will be back in time to serve people. And they're always worried about cleanup, even though the storm should abate dramatically as we get into Tuesday. The current track provided by the National Hurricane Center shows Sandy making landfall just south of Atlanta. City this evening, and that keeps New York City well within the danger zone of the storm. And it's why, as of now, we are under a coastal flood warning from now through 3 p.m. on Tuesday and high wind warning through 6 p.m. tomorrow. If you are still in Zone A and can find a way to leave, leave immediately. Conditions are deteriorating very rapidly, and the window for you getting out safely is closing. As the winds start building this afternoon, it gets more and more dangerous to go outside. And so you're sort of caught between a rock and a hard place. You should have left, but it's also too, getting to be too late to leave. Um, if you uh, really experience an emergency, uh, 911, we will send our first responders in, although we'd love very much not to have to put their lives at risk, and you can control that by getting out now. Uh, you can look outside and say, oh, this is not bad. Uh, that's correct, but it is going to be. The forecasts are reasonably accurate this close to when um, we're predicting something, and it's going to be very high winds, going to be a lot of road closures. You know mass transit's not working, and driving when you have big gusts like that is dangerous.